In this tutorial, we'll look at how to make a bootstrap button the full width. All right, so I just have a simple uh, HTML file here. I included the bootstrap library and I have uh, copied the button component from the bootstrap docs. Right, that's this one. I copied that in here and this is what we get. So now we want to make it the full width. Now in bootstrap 5, I'm using bootstrap 5 here, which is the latest version, btn block will not work anymore. Right? So this has been removed. And so if you want to make it the full width, you have to set the width to 100%. Right? So the utility class for that is w100. Then if you refresh, you should see the full width. Now pay attention to the parent element. Right? So maybe it's sitting in a container element, some other element. right? And maybe this container element only has um, you know, a certain width. right? It's gonna make it's got this is gonna make it the, the complete width of its parent element, right? So if the parent element is only taking up 50% of the width, let's say this one will also only take up um, 50%, right? So it's gonna be 100% of its parent element. So make sure that the the width of the parent element is the width that you actually want for the button. Now what you can also do is um, you can use the grid system. Actually, some of you may prefer this. So you have a row, right? And then we get 12 units to allocate, but we want all the 12 to go to this button, right? Because we want it to be the full width. So you can just put the button in here and let's see, that should also work. Yeah, so now it's also the complete width. All right, now if you have a stack of buttons in the documentation, they will actually show you how to get these block buttons if you have multiple of them. So they're using the grid system of actually the CSS grid uh, properties here. So D grid is display grid. They show you how to do uh, certain layouts, right? So you can play around with that in documentation. Make sure you get the latest version because if you Google for bootstrap docs, the first link will actually link to an older version, right? So make sure you're looking at at least version five and um, you can get it exactly like you want. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.